Hey, the time almost gave up. The time almost gave up volume five. Wow. What a crazy couple of days I've had. Parshas Huchat. Para Aduma, the red heifer. You know, the main takeaway is like, there's certain things that's beyond our comprehension and understanding, but we trust God and we're obedient. I just had the craziest week, one of the craziest weeks of my whole life, being one, going down to Nashville for the NHL honors as a guest of the NHL, powerful experience, great meetings, got bumped up to the executive seats uh, for the honors, made friends, got to see some old friends, powerful experience of just how God has a lane carved out for you, how God will open opportunities and doors for you, leave there and trying to get to New York now. A bunch of flights were canceled. A bunch of flights were canceled out of Miami because of weather. Sat in the airport for two hours. Sat on the plane for two hours. We finally got to our destination. A lot of the NHL staff didn't make it to, to Nashville because there were flights canceled out of New York. Any event, next day, I forget my bank card at the hotel. Miss my flight. Get on a flight that lands in Cincinnati. Or no, in Charlotte. That ended up being a very powerful moment because I got exposed to some things that I was looking for. But as I get off the plane in Charlotte, it reroutes me to Pennsylvania and says I won't get to New York till later the next day, but I got kosher palooza. So I go like, no, we got to switch the flight. End up getting ride to Cincinnati. Land in Cincinnati, call my cousin Joe, go to Trader Joe's, grab some steaks, meet me at the crib. Boom, I drive an hour and a half to my cousin's house, make some steaks at about... One in the morning, steak and spinach, boom, head back to the airport, hour and a half drive. Land in New York, kosher palooza, boom, get there, setting up. That's crazy. We run through food quick. You know, got jerky, fun experience, tons of people, make some dope connects. Still hadn't booked my ticket to leave back. I'm like, oh, shoot, you know what? Supposed to perform Sunday, but we changed the date to Thursday. So I'm like, y'all gotta get back for this concert. 10 p.m. hadn't booked a flight. 11 p.m. hadn't booked a flight. I'm at Yisrael's wedding. Shout out to the Hoffmans, having a great time. Still hadn't booked my flight. I'm like, yo, 12, 11.58, I see a flight for 800 bucks. I'm like, man, that's way too much to fly to Miami. Flights were looking at three grand. Then I see a flight on Spirit, Hasfi Shalom, for 300. I'm like, man, I don't know. Like, it might be worth it. 1202 by maintaining my faith i see there's a flight with a to the bahamas six hour layover and then from there to uh fort lauderdale i'm like Psh, that's it book that boom going to the bahamas six hour layover extra free vacation get to the hotel had slept in two days later i take a nap oversleep get to the airport late i get to the airport exactly one hour before flight departure i double park outside the airport I go in, thank God I've got status. So I go to the mosaic counter. Lady's like, oh, you're too late to check your bags. I'm like, great, I got two bags to check. You know, let's keep it moving. And then it's like, oh, you don't got a passport. Your US passport, I was like, I got my Israeli passport, boom, okay. Order the Uber to the car rental pace, drive the car back, hop in the Uber, get back to the airport, bing, get through security, get to the gate one minute before she gave my seat away, one minute before the doors would have closed. Whew. We're in the Bahamas. Get to the Bahamas now. I'm like, yo, let me check these bags. You know, go to check the bags. And they say, where's your U.S. passport? I said, I don't have it. They say, okay, well, where's your visa as an Israeli citizen? So you can enter America. I'm like, I don't have that either. What are you talking about? I'm like, oh, you ain't gonna be able to leave. You have to go to the embassy, get an emergency passport. I'm like, wow, whatever. Go to the embassy. They're acting funny up. Oh, Emergency passport office is closed, 8 to 11. I'm like, who gets emergencies before before noon? Like, whatever. I'm like, I'm not staying here another night because I got to get here to be, you know, for the concert. They're like, oh, you got to go take pictures, come back at 8 a.m. I'm like, whatever. I'm being nice. I'm nice to everybody. Being nice. Go get the passport photos, and I'm like, yo, go back to your airport. Maybe if I book a flight to Tel Aviv, the lands of Miami, they have to let me in because I have a layover. Bing, bing. Go to the American Condor, get to the airport. Lady shutting everything down. No, you can't do that. Not going to work. Not going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. You're not the one I want to help me. Go to JetBlue. I actually have a ticket. Go there. Don't say anything about the passport. 
things started getting rolling. Lady's like, oh, but where's this? Where's that? I was like, I don't have it. I'm showing her my passport card. I'm like, yo, we got to make something happen. Boom, boom, boom. She's like, wait, do you have a picture of your passport? I was like, I do. So, okay, here, let's try this. So I do a mobile check-in without scanning your passport, blah, 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 blah. Gets it done. After it gets done, the lady gives me a hug. She says, sir, you just increased my faith. I'm like, your faith? How? She's like, by you not wavering in yours. Unbelievable. Boom. Now I go. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's go, you know, I heard there's Chabad here. Let's go get some food. Let's go kick it. I'm trying to go find the spot. My phone dies. Phone dies. So now I'm just freelancing it. What do I see? I see that I made a wrong turn. And then I noticed I saw Ministry of Sport. I'm like, yo, I got to go holler at them. Pull in. No scheduled meeting. Never made contact before. Wearing a t-shirt and some pants. Pull up in there. Chop it up with the director. Uh, we hit it off back to the airport in time mm, got some kosher food uh, made my flight uh, got to the concert uh, performed uh, woke up today hit the mikvah diving uh, uh, got my hair cut got the payers braided you see it's real elaborate uh, phone was on car was on three percent at zero percent i'm still 0.7 miles away from this thing you see us now charging charged up guys good blessings is good you might not understand what's happening or why you gotta go through what you go through or why you gotta do what you gotta do but just always trust and know that's for your good be unwavering in that conviction and that commitment and may we all see the coming of the mashiach and the celebration of the yom tovim in yerushalayim shabbat shalom